Kerouac had very successful, published uh, On the Road, and that was a, a cause celebre, and did actually have an effect on the entire consciousness of America among the young and some old people in renewing the uh, great tradition of American exploration and road and adventure. But in 1957, after On the Road, uh, the Dharma Bums did come out. Uh, Jack told me, Gary, my boy, I'm going to surprise you this year. <laughs> it didn't quite say what he meant by that. Jeffy Ryder was a kid from eastern Oregon, brought up in a log cabin deep in the woods with his father and mother and sister. From the beginning, a woods boy, an axeman, farmer, interested in animals, and Indian lore. So then when he finally got to college, by hook or crook, he was already well equipped for his early studies in anthropology, and later in Indian myth and in the actual texts of Indian mythology. Finally, he learned Chinese and Japanese and became an Oriental scholar and discovered the greatest Dharma bums of them all, the Zen lunatics of China and Japan. Uh, it was a charming discovery. And, uh, of course, I recognized myself uh, as a model for it in many ways. But I've had to deal with that over the years as uh, people have simple-mindedly uh, referred to it over and over again as though I were a J.F. writer and as though it were virtually biography. So it's not Gary, it's not one-to-one, -one, but it's Gary as an inspirational prototype and a few uh, technical details drawn from Gary. And that it had a great popularity because it was written very simply and very understandably and very poetically and very naturally about nature and the simpatico relation with athleticism, with camping, with the rucksack revolution. And in it, it predicts a kind of long hair rucksack revolution, actually, which came true. What's sweet to me is the, is the kind of Catholicism and fervent faith of Kerouac's writing and perceptions. So it puts a kind of romantic patina over it all, which is pretty absent from Gary's personality. And I have to remind people, the Dharma Bumps is fiction. Uh, I see some parts in it I know, and some parts in it are different, you know, so don't take it as literal. But Americans are very literal-minded. <laughs>